Hi, I'm Jordan from Kentner Creative. In this video, I want to show you how to hook up your iPad to a projector. Kettner Creative is an audiovisual company located in Vancouver, BC. We produce videos like this all the time, so if you're an AV geek or you just want more helpful tips as to how to operate AV equipment, please like and subscribe so you can see more videos like this in the future. So how do you hook up your iPad to your projector? Whether you're wanting to do this at your house or at an event, these tips will help get you started. Kettner Creative literally does this thousands of times per year. So we're going to show you the steps that we use to hook up an iPad to a projector. So before you get started, I say start with everything turned off. The projector turned off and then restart your iPad. I've already restarted the iPad, so we're good to go there. Now that you've turned everything off, I would say turn the projector on. 90% of the issues that you're going to have during this process are resolved by turning the projector off and back on again. Same with your iPad. Uh, it's like a notorious meme at this point. Have you tried turning it off and turning it on again? That resolves most of the problems. Okay, so we're going to do this with an HDMI cable. You can also do this with a VGA cable, but now that it's 2020 when we're filming this, everything's HDMI now. So unless you're using a super old projector that requires VGA, I recommend using HDMI. It's just a better cable and you'll get way more resolution and more consistency with it. So we can see that the projector is turned on. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug the HDMI cable into the projector. And then right here is the official from Apple lightning to HDMI cable. This is the cable that you're going to need or adapter that you're going to need to get video signal from your iPad to your projector. So we connect the HDMI cable to the adapter and then we plug it in. There's two ways to plug it in. The cable is reversible so it doesn't matter how you do it. You can just plug it in. So now it's plugged into the iPad. If you have any issues at this point, it's usually projector related. So try restarting your projector again or try restarting your iPad again. If you still don't have signal on the Epson projectors, there's this source search button. So I hit that and it will scroll through all the inputs looking for signal. If you have a different type of projector, sometimes you need to use a different button. It'll say source search, input select, something like that and you're going to want to select your HDMI input. Some projectors have two HDMI inputs, so I always, by rule, just plug it into HDMI 1, and then on the input list, you just always know to look for HDMI 1. Now, one thing to see here is you can see that the image does not fill the screen the same way that the blue section did when it first loaded up. So that's because the resolution or the video size from the iPad is different than what's native to the projector. This is no big deal. You can generally zoom out to make it fill the screen. But what I do want to point out is if you open a YouTube page, oh, sorry. If you open a YouTube page and you hit play, the resolution will change. Now it just jumped from here to here. So I want you to realize that, uh, that the resolution will change this depending on the content. Also, when you're playing video from the iPad, you won't see it on the iPad. It'll take all the video and it'll put it on the projector for you. So then you can keep scrolling. So if you're on YouTube, you can look through other videos. It actually works quite well that way. Uh, you can also, if you're using this for a presentation, you can see how fast it switches over. Again, just realize that the resolution is different so the projector will crop your image. Now we lost all this information here because the iPad has a smaller screen that it's mirroring. If you have any questions about this or if you're getting hung up, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. We produce hundreds of videos like this. So if you're an AV geek or if you're just interested in the event industry, uh, please like and subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching.